This is Topaz from The Skin Deep, and today's another episode of Getting Under the Skin. Today I got something fun for you. I mean, hopefully everyone is fun, but this one I hope is especially fun, because we have something that we do. You've seen the end, you know, on YouTube and all that in production, the videos, the conversations. Do you know that we have something called the and live experience? Where we actually bring the magic, this kind of intimacy and connection that you see in the videos into real life, real world, you know, where there's an audience of 40 or 2,000. We've done it about 40 times around the world in about nine or 10 countries. And most recently, we did it in September 21 and 22 um, in Romania, in Bucharest, Romania, at this festival, conference festival called Unfinished. It was an awesome time. And I brought out with me. Co and Bosco, they are the spoken word group, spoken word duo, Grio. And they actually have an end video coming out if it's not out already. But I brought them out to Romania to do the live show. And we did two shows, one on Friday and one on Sunday, each for about 400 people. And instead of me telling you about the show, the way I call it, it's like it's, it's a magic show of humanity. What does that mean? You know what? It's better if I just share with you their thoughts. So this is Sunday evening after both shows were done. I asked Co and Bosco, what was their experience like? What was it like for them to host, to co-host the AND Live experience with me? Here's what they said. The AND experience never fails to do two things. Open you up and make you have conversations you probably weren't considering to have. But it was amazing. Yeah. And it was cool to see people have that moment over and over. Even people who had been here the first show. Yeah came back for the second show and literally had a different experience so yeah i would give it a 10 out of 10 i'm saying (laughs) for me it was seeing the effect on other people like i will not forget anka in the back like her coming up to us just kind of randomly we were sitting there having our own conversation she came up to us just sat down and was overwhelmed with the experiences that she had at the end experience. So she was just telling us about how she felt, how it made her feel, mm-hmm. how she opened up in other ways that she hadn't thought about beforehand, and how she t- how she will take that into the future as far as her life is concerned. So mm-hmm. that to me is the most effective and the most important thing about the entire experience is about like, yo, how can I take this and move forward with it? And that's what she's definitely gonna do. So and the shout out to you, Anka. Yeah. Let us not forget about our last couple who <laughs> literally met 24 hours before the end experience. And, and during the end experience had a deeper connection to the point of like we thought they were together and a legit like a legit connection. a legit yeah. connection yeah. Yeah. and like to see them get to further explore that connection on in stage front of in everybody? real time that's like, dope that was amazing yeah. yeah yeah and what about what about the experience for you guys hosting like you guys stepped into okay. a new thing I mean, sure you guys had true. your own performance which was epic yeah. you've done that before you have experience what was it like for you guys to have the experience of doing the end Right, doing a new format for you The guys. dopest part about it was watching people's reactions to the questions. Like you can hear them processing them in the exact mm-hmm. moment, like, oh shit, like, That's oh true. snap. Like they hadn't, they didn't have any idea that it was gonna take them that deep. Yeah. But that's the entire purpose of the experience is like, yo, we're gonna go beneath the surface. It's not skin deep, it's underneath that. So yeah. that to me was like the dopest part about everything. What what have you felt has been the response from these two shows? What have you, what, mm-hmm. what have people told you or what, what it's been like? What happened to you guys as we finished the show that first night or now? What if, what's come up for you guys from the response? I think it was people realizing that it's okay to be vulnerable. That. I think that's such a big deal with a lot of people is them that. not realizing and understanding that, hey, I can have these conversations. It's okay to have these conversations. And not only that, it's empowering to have those conversations. Yeah. So that's what I would say. Yeah, because I was going to say vulnerability. Yeah. Like, people afterwards, like it took us almost two hours to get from the auditorium to where the food was because every time we took a step somebody would stop us and be like oh my god we needed this like (laughs) we don't do this i was telling you earlier like that vulnerability is not a part of their culture so they got to experience something that they've maybe seen afar and -hmm. now they actually got to be a part of it and see how effective and good it felt yeah so i think for me that was like the 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 most beautiful part yeah like wow yeah Yeah. but what but like for me it was like thinking about the fact that I used to watch the skin deep I used to watch the end yeah and being so impacted by those videos and at that time you guys were kind of the only ones doing it like it wasn't a thing where people everybody wanted to do it you guys were the only ones doing it and even though other people started doing it you guys were still the only ones pushing 
that inner, like that very intimate personal relationship. So to be a fan, and I'm one of them 1 million subscribers, <laughs> to be that person and then to now be on the other side of being able to not only experience it live, but to be a part of it. Like, yeah. and facilitate for others surreal. like you're hosting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I kind of was having that moment this weekend of like, mm. yo, like, mm. you used to watch this and now you're a part of it. Like, it just kind of is one of those moments where you're like, man, first of all, dreams do come true. And alignment is real because we've always wanted to collaborate and work with companies that our values align. So to be able to have this moment is like, you know, I'm not gonna get email on camera, but yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't give you no Kleenex. Right. <laughs> you make me suffer. Nobody here gonna give you something. Like, nah, you don't get tissue cry. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. I mean, it was an amazing time for me and them, but I really enjoyed it. something special about doing something with people that really resonate with you and that our values aligned and that know the value of what we're creating together. It was such a pleasure. And I look forward to making more live experiences or hosting more live experiences with Cohen Bosco and uh, Grio, I should say. And um, if you want us to bring it to your community, to your company, let us know. We'd love to do it. Take care and have a good one.